and then you if you had material IDs on your high res and all the material IDs and this actually I'm going to skip ahead a little bit so let's talk about we're talking about material IDs here oh there it is um, so uh, set CA we had Dennis uh, Porter made us a, a CA scripts that has all these colors on it if you watch the Friday demo at ZBrush uh, if you go to the Pixelogic channel Pixelogic ZBrush uh, the exclusive first look in ZBrush development. There's some new plugins that came out. Um, oh, actually, yeah. So you can actually download that plugin and start using it. I haven't downloaded it yet, so I'm going to have to skip it. But for now, what I'm going to do is I'll show you. I have a tool in here that I use. It's called Simple Color Swatches. So I can double click it. I can drag it out of my canvas, go into edit mode. I'm going to go to Skin Shader 4. I'm just going to dock this color swatches over here. And then if I go out of edit mode, it'll just stick it to my canvas. And then I can continue. Uh, working. So for example, I'm going to turn everything on except for that game res we were working on. Uh, turn off polyframe, turn off solo mode. So for example, if I wanted to hit, I, all I got to do is tap C anywhere in my interface and it'll inherit that color. So if I tap C over here, I can say, um, let's alt tap the head here and we'll tap C and then I'm going to go to color, fill object. I have a hotkey set up for that, alt control F. And then if I tap on his shirt here, and tap C and then do my hotkey for fill. Uh, tap this up here, hit C, fill that up. Um, you can also do, and then we'll grab this one and we'll fill that with gray. There we go. So that, that's essentially what I would do. You can also, if we do go, I'm going to go to my merged one here. Um, if we go in here, let's turn off our line so we just see our polyfill and let's do a quick geometry polygroups auto groups. So now all of these have their own polygroup here. You can go down here to polygroups, or I'm sorry, uh, polypaint, and you can do polypaint from polygroups. So now if I turn off my polyframe, you're going to see I have colors for these. The problem with this is see how these two colors, this green and this lighter green, can be very similar. Uh, ideally, you want them very spaced apart mathematically. So the RGB values are like 128, 128, 256, 256, 256, 0. That's what these colors are. Uh, let me go ahead, I can link you guys, paste to you guys, and you can do the exact same thing I did. And again, if you go to the, this Google ZBrush plugins, go to the ZBrush plugins, and scroll down, you can get Z color. So let's, you know what, let's go ahead and install that. I'm going to download for window, and I'll go ahead and get these ones too. Download, download. And uh, okay, so we talked about that, we made the shirt, we're in good shape here. I'm going to, I'm sort of breezing through these, but I'm going to go ahead and shut down ZBrush. So for example, if you uh, right click, go to 7-zip, let's go ahead and uh, I like to extract it to a folder first just to make sure uh, it's a little bit self-contained and I know what's going on. So here's the folder it extracted. And in here, okay, we do have a folder. So um, here, oh boy, so it's got Z color help. This will be like a little help doc on how to use it. And then also the readme, this will tell you how to install it. Uh, and then you have the install folder. So in the install folder, you have a data folder and a Z script. So if I go into my computer, and again, we go to program files, pixel like 2018, Z startup, Z plug 64, and we copy in the data folder and the Z script into this. Uh, let me just move it here. So we have that loaded in. So now, let me go ahead and delete this. Let's load up ZBrush. So now if we go over here to our Z plugins, we have somewhere in here Z color. So there's our Z color. You can launch that and then this is just a floating interface here. Yeah, so a lot of times what they'll do is like for 3D Print Hub, you can click it and it'll actually take you through a little bit of a tutorial sometimes. Uh, that's actually a bad example. Uh, ZBrush to Photoshop is a good one. So this one has a bunch of different things you can do. You can go through and you can even click on a video on there. So now this is just a floating uh, in your interface here. So I assume Set color, there you go. Uh, I haven't actually read the instructions, but you can go through here and you can click here and you can hit set color and that'll set your color. You can filter, you can open this up, HSV, pretty cool. And then you can minimize that. So, uh, you know, I probably should have been more prepared to demo this. Uh, it's the first time I've actually launched that. So uh, 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 watch, their, watch their video on it. They'll talk you all the way through it. Uh, you can save out swatches and load them up. In here, so you can go to um, Photoshop and you can uh, load swatches and you can just bring them in here. So you can also set up the exact same thing I did where essentially you have those mathematically separated values as swatches. 
Oh, and uh, also, so I did, I went into my tool menu and loaded up that color swatches. So that link I sent you, um, if you put that into your, again, pro, uh, program files, pixel like ZBrush 2018 Z tools, you're going to see I have uh, that simple color swatch of Z tool right here. Uh, if you don't like putting a lot of things on your C drive, you can in here put a shortcut to somewhere else. So for example, if I wanted to put that on like my uh, E drive, like, oh, my streaming folder, I can right click in here and say, uh, create a shortcut here. So now when I hit the comma key and go to my tool menu, I have a shortcut to my streaming folder. And then there we go. You have access to all that stuff. So. FYI.